Hey guys, and welcome back to the Plantagenet Dynasty. We are currently on episode 16, and we have a crusade. Uh, the crusade in 1486. Um, we have a late crusade, but there you go. Uh, we're better choose the benefit of that. Reginald's not the heir, is he? No. So we're... um. My benefit, benef I can never get that word right. Uh, he will be um, king of Jerusalem or whatever, uh, which we are trying to, which is something I want to get. Um, now I'll fill you in what you've missed. You haven't missed much. There's been a bit of a rebellion in Scotland. Uh, currently, there's a war against the tyranny, which is the past queen of Scotland, who's um, risen up. She is soundly getting her ass kicked <laughs> by the Scottish king. Um, in terms of other stuff, uh, I'm still Henry the Lion. There's not much to change with me. Henry is still around. Uh, still betrothed to that one. We did kill her off at some point. Uh, however, everyone really hates me now because, uh, yeah. But, uh, but uh, that's to be expected. I just knocked off my recording there by accident. <laughs> um, in, a, in a smart move, I have married Edward off to and it's probably something I should have done with my daughter but my current heir but it's my but Edward's now betrothed to the daughter or the granddaughter of the uh, Golden Horde guy <laughs> of Kargan Niger the Great of the Golden Horde with his 75,000 men we haven't got an alliance so but uh, I know aggression pact is good for me um, less chance of having to fight them so that's a quite a strategic alliance um, a half brother guy has joined the Knights Hospitaller and chosen a life of celibacy. This also does mean that a guy won't be declaring war on me for like a revolt or claimant war or anything like that, which is all good. But uh, he was married to a one of my cousins who is now actually getting has now been married off to the I think it was her, wasn't it? Yeah, who's now married off to the King of Wales. Uh, but yeah, not much has happened. Not much. You haven't missed my load, so I would say. Um, but uh, we're now obviously going on the crusade. We're going with our huge armies. We'll go to York. I tell you what. Yeah, we're sending them all to York. And uh, yeah, I could send all my troops, but ah, fuck it, we will. <laughs> Won't bother with the ships, so but uh, we'll send them all. Uh, let's go get off our troops from uh, France as well. And Spain, they don't have a navy actually. Okay. We'll have to pick them up from Barcelona. And uh, oh no, yes they do. It's over here for some reason. They go to Barcelona. Uh, we have given this out to a Italian lord over in Egypt. Um, given him his independence. Pretty much all my lords have taken up arms in this crusade, which is crazy. And my god is now gonna lag. <laughs> Oh, Flanagan is often to deal with a uh, Grant McLean. And wait for the army to come down. And quickly get them on the ship. So that ship can actually carry 300,000 troops, which is crazy. <laughs> so we'll send them down over to Barcelona to group up with this army. And but we should have like a massive army by the time. Oh, King Guy's dead. Well, who's King Thomas? Why is a English? Mm, how does that work? Is it her? Oh right, okay. My cousin who was married to the Campbell family. And is there any? Oh bollocks! This is going to cause some issues. He's a Duke of Lancaster. And he's the heir to Lancaster. That's annoying. What did he die of? Slain in the cruise? No, he was slain by some random dude. Okay. That's a bit of a dodgy. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean Lancaster's going to get all Wales, which will make them quite powerful? They do like me, and he's my chancellor, but I don't really want them having that much power. Or maybe it might be wise to. Hmm. Uh, there's not much I can redo about that, but that's his line gone. And now there's a new King of Wales who will cause a bit of issues, I'd imagine. So, it's a bit worrying, but uh, 
Hopefully it should be okay. Right. There's quite a few troops attacking the Pope. Is that a yeah, besieging army? Yeah, that's about to die. <laughs> uh, I think we'll move straight towards the Holy Lands and just divide up our troops and I'll do that off camera. We have arrived in Jerusalem. Our armies now stand poised to take part in the crusade. Does vault. We now have the crusader trait as well. I finally stand before the destination of the crusade with sword in hand. I'm ready to storm the walls of Ascalon. So yes, we have split up our army a bit into some separate ca sad categories. Um, command this army of Emperor Henry along with Hugh of uh, Derturin, who one of our other commanders. And Reginald of Somerset. Unfortunately, he's got the gout and is not the best of commanders and let him be carrying a sword in the battle. And Edward, my cousin, who the future, not the future heir, sorry, um, the Duke of Wessex. Um, he's got an army of, he's got Adam of um, whatever the hell that says. And Gilbert and a bunch of other commanders as well. Unfortunately, not all of them have commanders in their flanks. But uh, it'll have to do. Henry will immediately go after this army. Send one army over to Jerusalem. And this army, one of these guys can go over to... I think, where's his capital? Okay, one can go down here. And William will just head over to Antioch, actually. He's probably a good idea. If I can just find it. There it is. And it's actually sees the crusading areas. And we're low the speed down a bit. Don't want to go way too fast. Alright, let's go assist um, over here. Unfortunately, he's managed to get some reinforcements. Should arrive just in time. Just in time to smite the commander. Oh, hello. Oh, we've come into battle. We should easily kill him. After he clumps as he dodges one of my attack, my next one threatened the man attempts to cover his injured leg. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> and he lost a leg in Mao. I think he's done. <laughs> Who's, uh, there's quite a lot of people. Hang on, is it? It's a golden horde in this. Oh, God. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> a fierce battle outside Jerusalem. Catch one of the commanders, that's good. Uh, Henry will... Uh, probably stay there. Edward will remain. Uh, his, Edward's got scurvy and he's currently fat, so... You know, <laughs> he's had better days. The army has gone up to Antioch, they'll take that. And... Uh, go over there. And where's my other forces? They're just going down. Uh, Thomas and Randolph, or I think it's Thomas of... Fitz Isabella, who's one of my... Is that one of my relatives? No, I think it's someone that my king was in love with, I think. Yeah, I'm not... But he's related to me, so, you know. Now, I'll start proceeding Jerusalem. We'll set up a fort here as well, just to keep it up. We're falling back. We're going to go chase him down. And we build a fort up at Antioch as well. Siege the main key areas. Oh god. That's a, that's a massive army. We should probably get down there and try and assist. I'll send you down as well. Just send everyone down. Uh, it doesn't mean anything sieging their capitals. It's If we can get down there and assist... Get on there. Oh shit. <laughs> well, Thomas has charged very far into the. down here, and it's probably not a good idea. He may even lose his battle, actually. But, let's we'll see. Well, it's close. Uh, I don't know. I think he's, yeah, he's lost that. Unless. nah, he's gone. God damn it. No, oh, well, we tried. <laughs> cool, quick click on that, please. Thank you. 
or maybe you head down there. William will lead the attack. Unfortunately, that army did get knocked the hell out. Uh, Henry will lead the main army now. So we'll swap our commanders about a bit. And we got their own help. Because stuck in that bloody desert is going to kill our men. It's the only damn problem with being over in uh, the Holy Land. You lose so much bloody shit to nutrition. Uh, you better go over to Jerusalem. Uh, you go down. Jesus. God, it's so bad, the nutrition over here. You have to pretty much divide your army into such a tiny force. Um, it's the only sort of way you can get around it. <laughs> You got to Jerusalem and help out. You know, look at that. The nutrition's still terrible. <laughs> but uh, if we can get down to Mecca, that'd be perfect. That's the uh, main area I want to go. Uh, this is probably the last crusade we record because hopefully this is the one we do win. Oh, bollocks. Let's hope my allies arrive quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'd imagine that my my wife is sort of leading the forces back home, even though she's yeah, you know she's a bit crazy, but other than that, I imagine my wife's leading the forces back home, and my son Henry is sort of observing. And uh, sign guardian myself, of course. Hmm. Uh, Bury the crusaders. It's in my character. Siege leader is probably quite good. And then Edward is actually known as Prince, which is, just makes sense. George has got one son, which is not bad. And I imagine that would be Edward the third, second of Scotland, I think. He's still fighting that war over there. We are still besieging. Thankfully, their main army is sort of buggering. Oh god. Not, yeah, we won that. They captured one of the lords, whatever. I don't think it really matters anyway, so I don't know if we can even get out of there. Oh, well. get down there out of the nutrition if we can. We've still got a fort there, we do good. Still quite a few defensive packs against me. Well, uh, we're not far now. Just not far to get to Mecca, and then we'll start besieging it. And hopefully, we have some reinforcements. Oh, we lost a lot of casualties. The problem is because nutrition is terrible over here. There's another army defeated. And we are building the fort as well, just to help nutrition if we can. Too bad. That's 37k there. <laughs> but the Jerusalem's about to fall. Just about anyway. Can I get my ship in there just to. No, I can't. Oh, Mecca's nearly fallen. If you can just take that, that'd be perfect. There you go. That's 50% in our favour. Oh, that supply limit's all right down there. If we can get there. So the supply limit is over there. It's like 8,000. It's really bad. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Hi! Oh, crap. And it's... Yeah. And it's bloody all auto saving. Okay, 15th of January. Is there any chance in hell we're escaping? No. All right. We'll make our brave stand down here. Because I can't <laughs> really do anything here. Now, Jerusalem's been taken, so we move up and go up there. 
And now we do battle with the Crusaders, with the uh, Muslims and all that. My son was a terrible little soul. What troops do we have that we they don't? They have a lot of special units, so a lot of... Um, I'm not quite sure what special units it is. They do have a lot of cavalry, which is... You know, they have a lot of infantry and... Yeah. Their troops are just better than mine. And they have a lot of cavalry as well, which is mainly the Golden Horde's doing, I'd imagine. Yeah, that's us gone. <laughs> We're likely fall back to Jerusalem. And, uh... Yeah, Edward's doing well. Uh, I'll put myself in charge and I'll lead the main army in the north now. I'm going to push on Jerusalem. That big army down there is concerning. Burn whoever, whatever. I'm going to show you if you wasn't Apparently you haven't covered the really... Okay, yeah, go ahead. So you can find it. Um, see, we can ransom some of these guys. More money, the better. We need it to pay for our main troops, and we'll execute one of the lords. Um, just to uh, just to serve a warning. Um, after that loss in battle, there we're gonna. And because it killed most of our Jesus Christ, impaled on the spikes of of a great. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's, that's a bit extreme, but alright. Surprised this army even gets home yet because they're like completely depleted. Well, the siege of Jerusalem is going well, I'd say. Can we raise 12k more troops? I don't think we could. I don't think we can. Um, if we do, it's just yeah, it's hardly any point. Um, let's see if we can. Maybe calling the holy or no? Never, no. We're gonna not be able to do that. Got a few uh, of the Muslims roaming about Greece at the moment. Yeah, that big army there is just pain. The Pope sort of getting. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we won. Okay, that was quick. Alright, Pope Crusaders 1. Victorious Crusaders! God has granted Emperor Henry of Great Britain victory in the Crusade. Oh, thank you. Caliph Alam has been beaten at every turn for the war and he has finally had to give up his hold in Jerusalem. Emperor Henry has granted new lands of Jerusalem to Edward. I have. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> the Pope has made an announcement about the victory in virtue of the Crusaders as a true faithful protector of the faith. Okay, so. Alright. <laughs> The Crusader King, after the long fought battle for Scotland, uh, I wouldn't say for Scotland, okay. Um, it has finally been restored to the faith. Edward Plantagenet has stepped up to the throne as a beneficiary, I wasn't even, okay, of Great Britain, becoming the King of the Crusader State. Should it be hard to continue fighting in the fringe of Christendom, but everyone can agree Edward is the right person for the task. The Pope requests that the rest of the Christian would support this um, kingdom as best they could, and not let it once more, okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, actually, I can I can offer to. Well, for fuck off. You gotta be shitting me, right? Scotland's now independent. What? Fuck off. What? You what? No. Fuck off. Nah, 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 nah. What? The Scotland's independent, my ass. Alright. <laughs> Let's go over to uh, Scotland and uh, have a word, shall we? <laughs> because that surely doesn't make any sense, right? Like, where's the sense in that? Why is, uh, what is this, son? Well, okay, Reginald did get land, but he didn't get the right land. Scotland sort of just... Taking, taking my land. He's my uncle's betrayed me. Essentially, what's happened there? He's just completely backstabbed me, and call himself independent. You will, you will, you will pay for this. You will pay in blood. You will fucking pay for this. You little shit. <laughs> Swift vengeance. Fuck me. We got a lot of cash. Holy crap. 
Hey, I can finally build that. And he's taking land off me. How? This is ridiculous. We need to... And he's got the old man. How in the fuck? Um, we have two options, guys. We can either cheat and get the land back, because surely he would still be under me, right? Just because he's got the Kingdom of Jerusalem doesn't mean he would have just become just become independent, right? You know, because we are, you know, we, he's my vassal. Just because he's got Jerusalem, it's a lower title than me. Um, so really, realistically, from a story perspective, uh, Scotland should still be my vassal. They would not have just taken Jerusalem and become suddenly gone independent. Because uh, it would not have made any sense. So, we're, um, from a story perspective, Scotland is still my vassal. They haven't betrayed me because it makes no sense. But, uh, yeah, them controlling Jerusalem is interesting. However, this Agnatic Open, is it just males only, I believe? Okay. But, uh, yeah, we'll go off camera. Scotland is my vassal. Don't you worry about that. Um... Okay, that, that land has actually gone back to his. Okay. Uh, it does make them quite powerful. Scotland now owning Jerusalem as well as Scotland itself. But uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, we'll uh, go off camera and uh, just make Scotland under me again. Because it, I don't know why it did that. It shouldn't have done that. But anyway, um, we'll go from there. We are now the Lion. And uh, Edward has honoured his brother and his father's name. Uh, well, his brother, I would say, is blessed Richard. He has honoured his uh, brother, and his brother, no doubt, looking from the heavens, is very pleased. Um, okay, Prince Guy's got a cool helmet. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, indeed. But anyway, guys, uh, we skip ahead to uh, some stuff. Probably either some stuff with Scandinavia. That's sort of my goal. I'm sort of going after them, really. Um. But, uh, yes, anyway, uh, we'll see if he has any more children. His wife isn't pregnant, so that's good. Anyway, let's uh, skip ahead. Okay, I fixed everything. I'm now making my uncle the Marshal of England. Uh, you can research military technology. Uh, the Chancellor has served me well in the years, so he can continue what he's doing. My steward uh, will be uh, probably Edward. He's the best I have. My spy master will be John of Essex. Oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm um, getting the search for artifact. In that case. Uh, my court for... It's probably I did to give it to one of my... Nah, fuck it. Uh, because we've got, now got Jerusalem under control, we're going to go start converting it over. Uh, why do we control... What do we control over here? Hmm? Why well, the Golden Hall to control roads? Okay. <laughs> what are your territory to control them? No, it's just um, that area. Okay, that's fine. Um, Jerusalem has now been given off to the... Um, uh, to King Reginald. Um, he's now the Lord Paramount of the region. Uh, no doubt Jerusalem is, is sort of his capital and he's got Tyros as, Tyros as well. Um, with control in Jerusalem, it may make it a bit interesting. Now I've changed my sort of my I make my own victory conditions. Uh, obviously, my victory conditions now are to probably hold Jerusalem and hold the uh, hold the Crusader states. I'm definitely not going to invade all of that. Uh, but once I control uh, Castile, France, Scandinavia, um, no one's going to fuck Britain. <laughs> no one's going to dare challenge the British Empire. However, it would be pretty awesome to have a giant war against the Golden Horde and the Muslims and all that against all the Catholics. It'd be a fucking amazing battle. Because uh, you've got all of Europe versus um, all that. It'd just be a, like a massive... It'd probably be like a massive world war, really. Um, medieval style. It'd just be awesome. Uh, obviously, Scotland still controls uh, land. I'm not entirely sure why they hold the Iron Man and why exactly they hold Hull as well. I think this woman must have inherited land or... Yeah, must have done. But, uh, yes, our council was pretty strong. My titles, let's have a look at that. Uh, High old mono, better make the king of Jerusalem. Uh, royal custodian will go to the king of Ireland. 
I should show what that does actually. Uh, we we'll immediately make him a commander as well. He served us very well in the wars. King of Brittany as well. You can get that. You can have that. And yeah. Um, in terms of other stuff, I'm planning on going after uh, the front of uh, Scandinavia. Now, because he doesn't know I killed his daughter. It's just his attempted murder. So he knows I attempted it, but he's probably got a good feeling that I've probably killed his door. But uh, he doesn't actually say that he's that I've killed him. So, yeah. Um, but yes, uh, what's what's that? Trevor's on. Oh, they become like a doge of. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, they like control of that now. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Um. Oh yes, Chernogov is still around, which actually was a. I think it was taken in the. Crusading War or something. Byzantine Empire is still alive. <laughs> Only a shadow of their former self, mind you. But anyway, uh, we'll skip ahead. The fucking second I stop recording, something bad happens. My son is dead. <laughs> Died under suspicious... Uh, that's what I get for killing the other woman. Uh, fuck's sake. So that, we won't be having the Henry VIII. Um, instead, <laughs> we have another Edward. Which I believe will be Edward the Edward the Sixth, which would be interesting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there goes my master scheme to. I, however, I will have to make do with Edward now. He's gonna have to be the heir. Um, we will actually go observe just to see who killed him. I know it's kind of cheating, but I am curious. You son of a bitch. I gave you Scotland and Jerusalem and you kill my fucking son. All right. It's time for some vengeance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we do it? Yeah. Fuck me. My own uncle betrayed me. My God. My own uncle. Someone that practically loves me. And really? Do I have negative blow? Oh, I do, apparently. <laughs> Someone that loves me. My. We're going to have to kidnap this bitch. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know if we can even do it now because. Oh, bugger. Oh, well, there goes a whole fucking master plan to steal Scandinavia out the window. Oh, well. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh. I say we do something else and go after France. We can't really because there's no real relatives left, is there? Hmm. Would she ever claim? Would that go down? We claim to give the children not second. I don't know if that can be inherited. Not be inherited. No, I. Maybe we'll go after nicking France, perhaps. That's probably our better option. Um, let's see what we can do. See, Castile might be a better option, because we might actually have the chance to. Princess Teresa. She's about the right age, so we'll uh, betray her after Edward. Right, here, except. And we'll sort of look at going after... Uh, wow, well, look what happened to Portugal. Well, Portu Portugal now. But uh, we'll sort of go down the route of going after Spain, or perhaps even France. I may actually try and get the Pope to do this request and invasion. Um, but I think because I've got a bigger kingdom than France, it won't work, or I believe. Then again, we're all pretty good. Uh, but there goes Scandinavia. Uh, which bloody well sucks. Uh, there you go. Um, I'm going to go. I may even go after my uncle. I don't know. Because he's 63. He's old as shit. So... You know, I, I, I think from a, I think from a story perspective, uh, Henry won't know who killed his son. But uh, the fact that it was Edward, the who got practically, who's well, I think he's lun he's lunatic, cruel, and he's gone pretty insane. So I think he probably lost his mind and like I don't know, maybe he was uh, Henry perhaps was visiting Scotland. He's now made Gary's capital. Okay. Uh, perhaps he was visiting Scotland and uh, Edward had like a 
fucking heart, I don't know, not a heart attack, but Edward sort of lost it uh, due to his cruelness, his paran uh, paranoid lunatic suddenly got mad and thought that Henry was trying to kill Edward, but he was just by a tower, and suddenly pushed Henry out the tower and killed him. And pushed him off the tower into, like, the fucking sea. Into the Firth of Forth. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Edward, obviously, uh, probably drove himself even more insane. The fact that he just killed the heir of England. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, that does make things very interesting now that Edward is now uh, the last... Uh, the, in the last in line to the throne. He may have another child as time goes on, but my wife's got the great pox, so I don't think she's probably in the best of situations. But uh, we get an alliance with them. I may even try and go off to uh, scan Avor for I don't know because I want control of these islands up here. So I reckon we're sort of go off to that. Um, Iceland actually used to be two regions now I'm four, which is interesting. But uh, anyway, um, in the next, we'll go forward a bit. Uh, we do a bit defensive pact, so we'll have to hold off on that. But I think what I might do is sort of go get my diplomat to get claims on this area and take all this, take Iceland and some of these islands, and sort of move down on taking... What the hell's going on down here? Who the hell are you? Attacking Prince Bishop and... Okay. Um, alright. <laughs> uh, I think what we will do is probably look towards getting control over France, then eventually Spain and that bit. I sort of like the idea of an empire like here, France, Spain and all that. Just like a nice little border here, where my cursor is going. And uh, we'd end it there, I think. Um, Jerusalem, I'm obviously not massively bothered about controlling. If we lose it, we lose it, but uh, I will fight hard to hold it. Um, that's another fucking problem. The Duke of Cornwall, who automatically is Wales, it's now gonna, his son is, no, 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 Jordan is here. What am I talking about? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I've gone long enough. Uh, we'll skip ahead probably to some invasion of Scandinavia and probably France as well. But anyway, uh, we'll see what happens next. Likely, uh, Edward will die of old age at some point. He's quite old. And uh, George will ascend to the throne of Scotland. And eventually Edward after that. But there goes uh, Henry VIII. <laughs> but anyway guys. Hope you enjoyed the series so far. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And do yeah, do subscribe. It really helps that channel a lot. And uh, thank you all. Thank you all for your continued support in these uh, past months. It's been amazing. And I hope at some point we will go to CK3 and you, a lot of you guys will enjoy the CK3 stuff we put on the channel. I know I will, hopefully. <laughs> but I must admit, I'm not as enthusiastic as I would thought I'd be with uh, Crusader Kings 3. I think it's because I've been playing a lot of Turtle War lately and I, I reckon uh, after my CK3 stuff, I'll probably um, do some more Turtle War. If no, real massive like awesome mods come out for CK3, like any Game of Thrones stuff or anything like that. I'll probably go and do some more Total War, but uh, we'll see. Because there's so much Total War stuff I want to do. There's uh, there's Third Age stuff. There's Elder Scrolls stuff. There's Total. There's a uh, Game of Thrones stuff. There's all sorts. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you later.